guys what I have here watch out Pat. watch out cat what I have here you see I'll move it over here is the Montaigne Extreme Smart watch out Pat. shut up you grumpy So, what I have here is the Montaigne Extreme Smock, okay? No, jacket, jacket, where am I going? I've been looking at so many smocks lately, I'm all, I'm all smocked out. Okay, so, as you can see, it is well worn, extremely well worn. If you look at the, you look at the sleeves, look at the discoloration, okay? So, believe it or not, this is Alpine Red, which is now sort of become alpine pink but uh you like if you're watching videos guys and i'm outside and i'm doing work around the house or anything like that or i'm cutting trees or i'm cutting up logs i'm wearing this this coat this coat is the dog's bollocks it is an amazing jacket okay so basically what it is it is a pertex outer okay and on the inside it has a fi uh, pile fleece lining, okay? So what does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Okay, Pertex is windproof and shower proof, okay? Uh, I have worn this in quite heavy downpours and it is, uh, like the water doesn't beat off it or anything, it just sort of soaks into it, but you don't really notice yourself getting wet, okay? And the whole reasoning behind that and the design of this is that even if you get soaking wet, this will still keep you warm and that's to do with the way that this uh, this this fleece has been designed okay so very similar to what they make the buffaloes out of the buffalo smocks okay which which we have looked at in depth before okay so features 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 full length double zip which is starting to give it me a bit okay Falco storm flap Elbow pads, these are some sort of like a Cordura type fabric and we have these little things. Now these are actually for looping your gloves on there. You know, Alpine gloves and Mountaineer gloves have like a loop that comes off them that you can put onto your wrist. So you can take off your gloves and they hang down or you can loop them in here as well. Okay. I've never had gloves in there. Okay. And they have an absolute... Kick ass hood. A kick ass hood, guys. So the hood is so good on these jackets that my two buffalo jackets both have montane hoods on them. So they just velcro off. Okay, and you can just transfer this directly to your buffalo jacket. So guys, they have venting here at the sides. See there? The zip when you put the zip down, hi Evie, hi. I'm just making a wee video, okay? When when you put the zip down, the, the pocket is closed, which I sort of find a wee bit awkward sometimes because I have a tendency to sort of walk about like this with it, to let to let the air in. I drop stuff out of my pockets all the time. Okay, so in here, you saying hello? Hello. Hello, camera. You have to say hello, Wally's World subscribers. No? Okay, let me finish my video and then I'll come down to you, okay? No. Why not? Right, well, you just sit there and let me finish the video. Right, so guys, you can see that this jacket is rotten and dirty, okay? It's got to a stage now where there's so many stains and stuff on it that it won't clean, okay? Nice and long at the back, guys. You can see not as long as the the Buffalo Special Six, but it is quite long. Happy Wally's World. Happy Wally's World is right. Okay. And guys, the Pertex Six Outer. Okay. You have you can have a look online and see the specs about Pertex Six, but it is like windproof to fifty mile an hour and stuff like that, and shatterproof and blah blah blah. Okay. But these things. 
they're really good. They're really good. And if but they're really good, but they're expensive. But if you look at it in the long run, that's okay. So if you look at it in the long run, I was trying to figure this out, and I reckon this jacket is at least 12 years old. Now, James McIntyre will be able to clarify that. James, chime in down below with how old, because this was actually James's jacket, and we swapped because I had the smock version of this, okay? And at the time, I had a big, massive head of dreadlocks. And the smock version, the zip was quite tight, I found, and I couldn't get the dreadlocks through it, so... Uh, so I swapped with this, and I'm completely pleased with, with the swap, and he is completely pleased with his smock, okay? So, overall, an excellent jacket, guys, an absolutely excellent jacket. Is it as good as a buffalo? I don't know, okay? They are very, very similar, okay? But I've never worn a buffalo-style jacket, okay? Well, sorry, I've never worn a buffalo jacket, as opposed to a smock. Great piece of kit, guys. This is the very, very old one, okay? And it is still an excellent piece of kit. So if you can find one of these, probably on Facebook or eBay, at... Are you doing your words? What are you, what are you saying? What is that word? What is that? Say it. Apple. Good girl. So, sidetracked again. Guys, excellent, excellent piece of equipment. The one downfall, I think, is this mesh pocket. See this mesh pocket? Because I wear this out when I'm doing everything, like fixing stuff and doing all these other things, what happens is that I have a habit of getting a handful of screws and sticking them in my pocket. Where do the screws go when you have a, a netted pocket? Yeah, I generally find them around here somewhere. I actually find one in my collar one day and I had to cut a hole in the jacket to uh, to get it out but hey I don't mind so woolly approved guys if you're looking for a good 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 warm very warm jacket okay I would definitely have a look at the Montaigne stuff the Montaigne have not paid me to say, it, to say this I did tell them that I was doing a battle of the smocks video and would they be interested in sending a smock over to compare it to the buffalo smock and they stopped replying to my emails. Ah oh well, Montaigne, your loss. You know, 50 people could see this video. <laughs> Stay frosty.